Hello and welcome to the Daily Downbeat. Today's song is Signs from the 1970 album Goodbyes and Butterflies from the band Five Man Electrical Band. And this song is 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 great. When I was a kid, uh, Tesla was the band that redid this song and really kind of put it on the map for my generation. Tesla decided to put a couple derogatory terms in there, and I'm not exactly sure why they did that, but when they redid the song in 2019, they didn't use it. They went to the original song, so for some reason down the line, they decided that that wasn't the way it should sound and redid it the right way, but we're going to look today at the original version um, from the Five Man Electrical Band. And interestingly enough, um, we've already covered this song in a podcast episode, and so I'm going to put a link to that as well, and you can check that out on your own. But the song hit number three on the U.S. Hot 100 uh, back in 71. And what's interesting is there was a whole line of songs that really kind of had like a little bit of a spiritual connotation or at least talked a little bit about faith in them and it was just common nature to still think about church and things of that nature the song itself is not a christian song but there's a few lines in it that really make you think and kind of hit to the narrative of what it's all about and in this particular song the lyrics go like this and the sign said everybody welcome come in kneel down and pray but when they passed around the plate at the end of it all, I didn't have a penny to pay. So I got me a pen and paper and made up my own little sign. I said, thank you, Lord, for thinking about me. I'm alive and doing fine. Sign, sign, everywhere a sign. Blocking out the scenery break in my mind. Do this, don't do that. Can't you read the sign? So that really kind of, you know, spells that out. Like, we're asked to give the heart. Um, tithing, all those things are important as well, but this is what we're asked to give. Um, and we're given this life by, by Christ to do something with, by our Creator to do something with. There's not much more that's entailed. It's, it's really about trying to figure out what God's will is for your life and doing that. But, you know, I also see it as not just the sign in that particular way of signs in life you know of do not enter do not trespass and this type of thing but i also see it as like a sign of the times kind of thing one of the things that i've always kind of wondered about you know apologetics are very very important to our faith but how much time do we actually spend you know trying to figure it all out and trying to find every single piece of evidence and not walk out our faith at the same time. Um, And I think a good portion of apologetics is not necessarily for the believer, but to help the believer in their walk with other people and to use that as evidence. And that's an important thing, don't get me wrong. But let me ask a couple questions here real quick. Do you put up signs forcing others to live and think as you do? Are you waiting for a particular sign? And like we talked about before, do you spend more time looking for evidence than you actually do for his will? Um, And, you know, those are just some things to think about. But really, the verses we're going to focus on today actually come from Matthew 12, 38 through 41. And Christ is being pushed here by the Pharisees. So we'll go ahead and see what he has to say here. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered him, saying, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with his generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, something greater than Jonah is here. So we're going to look at the Life Application Bible here and read what it has to say about those to give us a little bit more understanding. The Pharisees were asking for another miraculous sign, but they were not sincerely seeking to know Jesus. Jesus knew they had already seen enough miraculous proof to convince them that he was the Messiah. If they would just open their hearts, 
but they had already decided not to believe in him, and more miracles would not change that. Many people have said, if I could just see a real miracle, then I could really believe in God. But Jesus' response to the Pharisees applies to us. We have plenty of evidence, Jesus' birth, death, resurrection, and ascension, and centuries of his work in believers around the world. Instead of looking for additional evidence or miracles, accept what God has already given and move forward. He may use your life as evidence to reach another person. Pretty powerful stuff. Um, and you know, I've noticed this as well. It's like, it's like God, God reaffirms me and God shows me that his truth is enough. He is the one, he is the author of my life. There's so much he's doing in my life and so many miracles, honestly, that I've seen, not only in my own life, but in others, but yet there's still every now and then that hint and I believe it's the enemy just pecking away at us and trying his best to say, that's not true, that's not true. And and it's like, you know it's true in here, but you start to allow the circumstances and all the everything else around you to start questioning, um, you know, what it is that you see and what it is you know that you're supposed to do. You know, I think of like, we come back to this often, but I think of Peter walking on the water, seeing miracles, knowing that walking on that water makes no sense. He shouldn't be able to do that. But through Christ, looking at Christ, he has the ability. But when he starts to let all those outside influences come in and, and mess with him, uh, he starts to sink. And you, But Christ is right there ready to take his hand. Long story short, it's got to be our focus. We have to keep our focus on him, his will, what he's already done, what he will do, and just stop questioning and stop asking so many questions and just do. Um, and that's really what today's about. I um, hope you really, you know, uh, not only listen to the song, song's great. My favorite version is now from Tesla's Five Man London Jam, which was released earlier this year in March, and it was their recording done at Abbey Road Studio Live and uh, really enjoy that one and they went back to the original version the way it should have been all along so check that one out i uh, hope you guys are having a really great day and a good week uh, it's hump day that's awesome and give this one some thought today think about where you're at are you constantly questioning constantly wondering the simple fact that you are alive and breathing every day is a miracle in its own right um, especially with so much that's going on in the world right now so you can take this all to the bank. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.